If ever there's a city that's always on the move, it's Berlin. Full of energy and excitement, it's known for historical buildings, the Berlin Wall, beer gardens, great architecture, graffiti, and lots of green space. It's an ideal setting for a study abroad program for about a dozen University of Florida students. Using digital cameras and laptops, we work on projects that will end up being profiles about Berliners. The stories are posted online to a website and the work is later turned into a book. How do we get around? We start off with an introductory bicycle tour. It's eight miles of riding through the city, stopping to shoot pictures, come up with ideas for possible stories. We have an English speaking guide who takes us by the remaining sections of the Berlin Wall. We see where artists have painted it in various forms. Another day we take a walking tour. We see things such as the Memorial for the Murdered Jews of Europe. We also visit Der Reichstag, Germany's capital building. Another night we dress up and go to a musical. It's part musical, part acrobatic show. A lot of fun. Takalus is an art house that is occupied by squatters and artists. It's full of graffiti and lots of strange things. Very unique, very Berlin. Throughout the years, we've had guest speakers enhance the program, which help a lot. Jeffrey Fleischman, formerly of the Los Angeles Times, helped. Christoph Niemann, who works for the New York Times and also New Yorker magazine, great illustrator. Ian Johnson from the Wall Street Journal is an alligator editor. Andrew Purvis from Time Magazine. John McDougall, photographer with AFP, has helped. We also visit a place called Mercedes World, which is a gigantic showroom. It's not a museum. It has some simulators, lets people do some practice driving. Also has an incredible collection of cars. It's an actual working showroom with a giant atrium. We get around Berlin on public transportation, riding S-Bahns, U-Bahns, buses, streetcars. Everybody figures it out. On the last night, we have a grand finale, farewell dinner. It's up in the TV tower, 680 feet above the city. The elevator swishes us up to the top. Everybody gets out, does a little bit of sightseeing, looks over all the city. We sit down and have dinner from 8 until 11. It's a farewell to Berlin. It's a lot of fun. For more information, you can go online, just do a search for Berlin Journalism. Also, you can send email.